simple thing I've ever heard in my life. This man said he stomps niggas like grapes making wine. Have you ever seen niggas make wine before? They stomping it to juice. This nigga said he's gonna stomp a nigga until they turn into juice. And then turn around and said, I'll beat my dick and bust in your ass so you can see me coming. Like, come on, girl. Come on, girl. Got to do better than that, man. Even the R&B songs, man. Like I said, man, they just hear the music, man. They hear the messages of the music. Cause everybody listen to that Montel Jordan song. That's my channel, girl. If it's alright, let's get away and get it on tonight. You know he was talking about cheating on his girl that entire time, right? And we just sitting there ballrooming to it, like tonight, tonight, tonight. <laughs> That entire time, he was clowning his girl that whole first verse. <laughs> his man said, you are what I want, girl. She's a chicken. Like, what type of man? She rolled with you, fam. Like, why are you talking about her like that? You're killing me. Well, I'll tell you, man. I, see, I actually listen to music, so I know this stuff. Like, that one song, that, oh, that, my, that Jackson 5 song, I Want You Back. Everybody think that's really a song, but he really wants her back. Michael Jackson was just on some real nigga stuff on that song. First of all, the whole first verse, he was calling her ugly, and y'all didn't even realize it. Listen to the words. He said, when I had you to myself, I didn't want you around. Those pretty faces always made you stand out in the crowd. Why else would she be standing out amongst a bunch of beautiful women? Unless she was ugly. And just like a nigga. And someone took you from the bunch. But look was all it took. Now, I don't want to be with you. But I don't want you to be with nobody else. So I want you back. That's, that's all that song's about. He was just being a nigga. <laughs> Mike was being a nigga. <laughs> oh, man. Praise God. Uh, <laughs> Oh, uh, man, I'm really, I'm, really, I'm really a good young man. I'm really a good wholesome young man. I go to church every Sunday. I wasn't always able to go to church, but um, only because I had to work on Sundays, but now I'm free, I'm able to go to church. But even though I wasn't able to go to church, I was still reading my Bible, because, you know, I still had to get my word in, you know what I'm saying? And while I was reading my Bible, I realized two things. Number one, the more I read my Bible, I realized the less everybody else read theirs. Right, right. You know how I found out? Because people would be taking stuff that they just heard on Facebook and somebody slapped John 3, 17 on it because it's not one, because it's not a scripture that the pastor usually say, they just figure that's Bible. Like people have been saying this one thing for years. Ever since I've been born, people have been saying this stuff, this, this one line, and they swear it's in the Bible. They say, only God can judge me. That's in the word. Where? Like, where? Point that to me in the text. That's not in the Bible. You know what that's at? The book of Machiavelli. <laughs> Track 2, verse 7. That's where it's at. <laughs> people don't be paying attention, man. Another thing I realized, half the people in the Bible couldn't have been black. Because they just don't, they don't have the characteristics that black people have. You know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, Noah could not have been black. Because two chickens would have walked onto that ark. The two chickens wasn't coming off of that ark. Unless they was in the carryout box, all flat pieces with extra lemon pepper. Maybe some hot sauce on the side or ranch. Moses. Moses could not have been black. Moses couldn't have been black. Because the only time a black person talked to a burning bush, they usually got the munchies afterwards. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. The only person in the Bible who may have been black was Abraham. Like, first of all, his nickname said it all. He was the father of many nations. Many, he planted seed everywhere. They even made a song about him that they sang in Sunday school. It went, Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. His baby mamas wrote that song, y'all. Like, I got one of them. 
So let's get child support right on. That's where Jezebel came from. Uh, <laughs>